Let's go. to the grease start. Sending uh, uh, send you away to do some errand fetch quest. No, I'm just kidding. This is probably something important. <laughs> Look at all these people just staying around this Immersion. Am I going to get game bang? Oh. Hey. And the gang banging conveys. Oh, they just stuck me into a bag or something? Okay. What? What just happened? All in good time, okay. Whoa, gang bang. That's something I never want to be a part of again. Or do I? We're here! Did we miss anything? We would not presume to begin without you, Ida. Orianger has returned to the Waking Sands, but everyone else is now present. Yes, but for what exactly? We all have duties to attend to, Alphano, so you may dispense with the preamble. Thank you, Elise. It is the very subject of those duties which compelled me to call this gathering. Though the warriors of darkness no longer pose a threat, Eorzea's many troubles demand no less of our attention. And while I stand by the decision to approach each task as we see fit, I fear our effectiveness will ultimately be diminished should we continue to act in ignorance of each other's efforts. Thus, I propose we elect a successor to Minfilia. Not to serve as a fully-fledged antecedent, perhaps, but as a coordinator of operations. Is that all? Well, then the decision seems clear. No one else has shown any enthusiasm for the role, and judging by your performance at our previous meeting, you would seem the perfect candidate. You always did have a flair for politics. Uh, I, I did not mean to... That was not my intention. As my tenure as commander of the Crystal Braves comprehensively demonstrated, I lack the qualities required for such an office. I would much prefer to remain as I am now, a soldier in the field, so to speak. Should none of our numbers step forward, must we then constrain some unwilling candidate to take up the position? Well, based on merit alone, a certain adventurer would be my choice, though I concede she might struggle to balance her new responsibilities with 
Let me see. Slaying primals, thwarting legatuses, and feeding the orphan poor. Sancred makes a good point. Any who would wear such a mantle would be bound by its obligations. Have we not become sufficiently familiar with each other's methods to act without an overseer? At present, I see no cause to so willingly limit one of our number. Oh, oh my goodness! Your... Help! I need some help here! Tataru, are you all right? Me? I'm fine. It's this poor girl who just staggered in and collapsed on the floor that I'm worried about. Narco! God, how did... You stole her! Please, you have to help her! Kral, a hand if you would. Let us see about closing these wounds. Now, we've staunched the bleeding, but it may be a while before you can move about again. Though, having seen your wounds, I'm surprised you are still moving at all. <sighs> Thank you. My message. It was too important to delay. I took the shortest route I could, though I knew it was more heavily patrolled. As you can see, my efforts at evasion were not entirely successful. Honestly, you're too brave for your own good. What was so urgent that you needed to fight half the Empire to get here? You could have been killed! I'm sorry, Ida. I had good reason. Ah, but I imagine your friends are wondering who this bloody mess of a Mikote is. My name is Minago, and I belong to the Alamegan Resistance. I came to warn Ida and Papalimo about one of our leaders. A man who calls himself the Griffin. He's always been dangerous, but he's planning something new. Something reckless. The Griffin, you say? I've heard the name. Rumor has it your man is eager to test his claws. Aye, and on no easy target. He means to assault Belsar's wall from the Alamegan side. But what does the Griffin possibly hope to gain from such an attack? From what I understand, he wants the fires of war to spread to Eorzea. And for that, he needs to control the border with Gridania. So, he means to spark a conflict between the Alliance and the Imperial forces stationed in Alamigo, to have Eorzea's armies aid in the liberation effort, whether they will it or no. His plan is flawed. Even should the Resistance succeed in occupying the Wall, they would not be able to hold it. Imperial reinforcements would drive them out within a week. Be that as it may, if there is even a chance that this scheme could bring about an escalation in hostilities between Eorzea and the Empire, the Alliance must be informed. Agreed. I should depart for Lim Salaminsa forthwith and seek an audience with the Admiral. Thancred? Uldar is yours. Alphano and Alize, make haste to the Twelveswood and notify the Elder Seedseer of the danger to Gridania. She will duly call a council of the Alliance leaders, whom you must be ready to receive. You will be our voice in Ishgard. Explain the situation to Sir Emmerich and encourage him to send an envoy. Tataru, Kryle. I leave the care of our injured messenger to you. See that she remains quiescent and her wounds closed. I believe that covers everything. Let us be about our tasks. I suspect the ill tidings from Girabania will be held as a turning point. The beginning to a bloody end. The business of war was ever conducted with the coin of self-sacrifice.
Twas Master Louis Soi himself who taught us that such costs are not to be ignored or denied. And so I shall embrace them. When the time comes, I will make my choice, as you will yours. Dun dun dun. Things just, just got turned for the ugly. Gates of Judgment. Ah. The Gates of Judgment. The front. Not the stops, apparently. Time to go. You can just teleport there. Wow, just immersively run there. 